If you've started and recorded a podcast using the Anchor app on your phone and you like it a lot, you're ready to upgrade your podcast or take your podcast to the next level, then this video, it's for you. Hey, hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve, your go-to podcast guy. I'm a podcast producer and consultant. And today's video is brought to you by our YouTube Podskis, Framed Heart and Coach Sandra. Both Framed Heart and Coach Sandra are wondering about the Anchor app, and they're really thinking about leveling up their podcast by these questions. Framed Heart says, I have two questions. One, if I've recorded the episode via the app, can I continue editing it on the computer? My phone screen is uncomfortably small. I totally know what you're talking about. I have a really hard time editing anything on a phone. I've gotta get my files onto a computer. There's just not enough real estate here to edit. And then two, he asks, does Anchor offer a web-based interface to do the whole recording and editing from there? That's a really good question and we're gonna answer that. And then Coach Sandra says, or Sandra, 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 hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Can you record on Anchor, export it for editing, and then reload it to Anchor? So Framed Heart and Coach Sandra are both basically asking similar things. They're wondering, can I upgrade my podcast and get away from the limitations that I have on my phone and use a computer to start podcasting? And that is gonna be the natural progression of all of us podcasters. We need to find ways to get off our phone and get onto a computer. And it can be a very inexpensive laptop computer. But the reasons we need to do that is because, like Framed Heart mentioned, there's no real estate here. It's, it's time consuming, wonky, and difficult to really edit anything serious on a phone. And you just get into wasting too much time and your time's too valuable. You could be recording more awesome podcast episodes. You gotta get onto a computer for that, but also you can get way higher quality audio, and there's a lot of tools that you can use in audio editing apps or DAWs that you'll find on computers. We happen to have a, a lot of videos here on our channel all about DAWs that you can use, and actually Veronica and I did a video where we take our podcast that we recorded from our phone and actually transfer the files onto a computer using a really cool and free solution, Reaper or Reaper.fm, and that's my favorite DAW for podcasters. You can watch that video by clicking on the same little I button thingy right here too, and I'll list that video in there as well. So hang with me for a minute, and I am actually going to log into Anchor here, and we'll just do a quick tour, and you'll see how easy it is to use. But before we do that, I really want to talk about bringing your podcast to the next level. That's what these amazing podskis are really thinking about already, even in the early stages of their podcast, and that's what I want you to think about, is how can I bring my podcast to the next level? How can I stand out? How can I get more listeners? And then how can I get those listeners to give me a little... So as I already mentioned, it's really a good idea to get off of your phone onto a computer. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can record audio onto a smartphone. There's actually a lot of different apps. And actually a lot of Anchor users will use different audio recording apps and audio editing apps on their phone because they find them to be more user friendly and there's a lot more options. And there's a ton of different audio editing apps that you can check out. Just search for audio editing in your app store. But I find that even those audio editing apps are limited with the plugins. They sound a little amateurish. They're really in that consumer sounding category. If you want to graduate from consumer up into prosumer, then you really do need to get on to a computer. And luckily, audio is a medium that takes a very small file space uh, when you compare it to video and other things like that. So you don't need some big, powerful computer. You just need an inexpensive laptop to start. And then from there, you can get a USB microphone that you can pick up for $60 to $70 for one of the cheap USB microphones. And we do also have a video where we've reviewed a ton of the most popular USB microphones. You can find that by clicking this eye thing here too. And once you do that, take a little time to learn an editing software. And I know it seems tedious and it's like, oh, I don't wanna have to learn a new piece of software, but it's actually pretty easy. They make them very user-friendly, just as user-friendly as these apps. And it'll blow your mind with how easy it is to make these simple edits and to add effects to your podcast mixes. Things like compression or noise reduction. They might sound like fancy terms to you, but they're actually really easy to apply and they make a world of difference, make you sound more professional, and they give your listeners a better experience, which is really what you should be thinking about. But besides all of that administrative stuff and sound quality stuff, 
Something else I'd really like you to do for your show is to analyze and talk to and engage with your audience. Who is your audience? Who's your ideal listener? Who are the people that are listening to your podcast already? And I'm not talking about your mom and your dad and your grandma and grandpa. I'm talking about strangers that you don't know, that you can survey. Maybe you can say that in your episodes. Find a way to connect with them or get involved in some Facebook groups or find people on Instagram or find people on social media that fit your profile of who your ideal listener would be and start asking them questions. Start finding out what kind of content they like. Podcasting is really a journey from we start making content because we're inspired and because we have these messages and this calling that we want to get out. And it moves from that into a place of serving and a place of making content for other people that they find useful or funny or hilarious or amazing or whatever it is. And just thinking like that is going to help you also really continue to move your podcast into really cool directions. And finally, if you're not happy with the podcast that you've created, uh, you feel a little insecure about it, you've made a lot of mistakes, the whole thing is just clunky and confusing to you, start a new podcast. Start from scratch. We actually do have a video here where we show you how to start from scratch, a brand new podcast on the Anchor app. And in that video, we walk you from start to finish and post our brand new podcast to Spotify and you can see how easy it is. Start from scratch again. And this time, take a little time to find out what listeners actually wanna hear. Now you have your podcast voice down a little bit better. Now you've done a little bit of market research, a little bit more Googling about what people are actually interested in. Maybe you've also hit up the podcast directories and the podcast players and looked for other podcasts that are like yours. And what are other people doing around the topic of your show? All of these things are really gonna help you to become a badass podcaster. And be sure throughout your journey to share all of your wins and all of your experiences and all of your comments with us here, right here on our channel. Leave them in the comments and either me or Veronica will personally respond. Sometimes we miss them, but most of the time we get to them. Okay. Let's hop on to Anchor real quick and I'm gonna show you just how intuitive it is. Okay, so if you just go up to your address bar and type in anchor.fm, you'll be taken to Anchor. And once you're logged in, you'll just automatically log in every time. But here you'll have to sign in. You just sign in with the email and the password that you created on your phone. So I'll go ahead and log in. And here we are with our Tango with Veronica podcast. And this is what we used in that video I mentioned. But you'll see already the first page we get to here is called our dashboard. And there's three different tabs, very simple along the top. We have dashboard, episodes, and money. On the dashboard, we get announcements from Spotify or Anchor up here we can X out of, and we get to see some pretty advanced analytics. We can see our listens over time, and we get to see where our listeners are at, what countries they're coming from, and we get to see what listening platforms our listeners are on. So this is really valuable information that you should be checking every so often about your podcast, so you should be logging into your dashboard anyway. And then from dashboard here, we can either go over to episodes. You notice here we have something that says subscription. This is that new feature I talked about where you can charge people a monthly fee to become your subscriber and you can choose how much to charge every month. And so once you've done that, you can edit and upload episodes that are just going to be subscriber only episodes and then you'll come in here to the episodes tab and click right here and say that this is a subscription episode. So only people who give me, who become my subscriber are going to unlock anything that I select as a subscription episode. So that's pretty cool. And this money tab here is where we set it all up. But let's just go ahead and say new episode. And when you click on new episode, this actually looks similar to the Anchor app on the phone. We have record, and here we can actually capture audio right from our browser. And this is an okay way to do it. If you don't wanna take the time to learn how to use a digital audio workstation, then you can just get a USB microphone and you can record your episode here. You can go to your library and add things to your library that you might have. Maybe you have an intro piece you've recorded. You can look at music, voice messages that maybe people have given you, and then also transitions. Or to answer the questions of the and what I would think would be a better situation is to edit your whole podcast episode elsewhere and then click right here where it says click to upload or drag files here. So we would just click here and upload a file that we have exported from our computer on an editing software. And it's as easy as that. And once you've done it, you can preview it and then you can save the episode. Make sure to add a lot of good episode notes. You can add unique episode artwork. And now you're really podcasting like a pro. So there you go, Podski. Did you find that helpful? If so, give me a thumbs up here on this video. 
Also, if you want to be notified more frequently when we release podcasting videos and content creation videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can always access this little I button thingy here for wherever it is to see all of the videos that I listed. And I will also leave those video links in the description below. Good luck with your podcasting endeavors. Don't be a stranger. And until next time, happy casting.